Today on Top 5 Friday, I'm going to give you five more hyped fragrances in my collection because you couldn't get enough of the first five. Welcome to J Royal, everyone. My name is James, of course. If you don't know that, now you know. This is Top 5 Friday, and every Friday I do a Top 5 video on fragrances. If you happen to like fragrance stuff, and fitness stuff, and other rants and ramblings, then please go ahead and subscribe. There are the common fragrances that everyone's kind of meh over, and then there's the standout ones, the ones that get lots of hype. There are tons of reasons why a fragrance would get hyped over others, but when it comes to the fragrance community, it's mostly because of the chatter on bass notes and Facebook groups, and of course, YouTube. The number five hyped fragrance on this list is Tobacco Vanille by Tom Ford. Tobacco Vanille is kind of an OG of the private blend. The name is pretty self-explanatory because what you get in this is tobacco and vanilla. You get some cocoa as well. To my nose, I get a lot more vanilla than I do get tobacco. Unfortunately, some people have started pooping on this because of reformulation talk. It's said that now it's a little more linear, it's not as interesting as before, but I still really enjoy it, especially when it comes to the winter time, so. The reason this fragrance is number five is because there are other fragrances out there that do similar things, whether it's Herod or even Velvet Teddy by MAC. I still think it's a powerhouse of a fragrance, even though I have the modern formulation, and I understand the hype, to be honest. And number five, Tobacco Vanille. The number four hyped fragrance on this list is Dior Homme Intense. This is the powerhouse winter equivalent of the original Dior Homme. Most famous for the note of iris, this fragrance also has lavender and ambrette. It is a little bit musky as well. The dry down is really nice and it almost has a bit of a gourmand-like quality. It's just, it is pretty delicious. The reason this is number four on this list is because apparently the current formulations don't live up to what it once was. But just like Tobacco Vini, I really like this fragrance and I think it's worth the hype once again. It's very, very classy, perfect for cold weather. Just don't wear this if you are a biker because it won't really suit you very well. At number four, Dior Homme Intense. The number three hyped fragrance on this list is CH Pen by Carolina Herrera. Another Jeremy fragrance special. What you get with this fragrance is a sugary, leathery fragrance with a touch of green quality to it as well with that grass note. It does something a bit different because sugary leather isn't really seen a lot in fragrances. And conceptually, it makes total sense for a bad boy because sugary sweet, but it's, you know, wearing leather. It's a, you know, <laughs> rough and tough dude. One thing that helped this fragrance's hype was the reformulation and the repackaging of the fragrance. The iconic red ribbon is the image that we all knew from the Jeremy Fragrance video. So finding this particular version became this massive panicky scavenger hunt. The new bottle wasn't good enough. We needed the red ribbon because Jeremy said, this fragrance would do the trick. CH Men's only number three just because of the performance issues it seems to have. Once people bought into the hype and started getting this fragrance, the community begun to realize that, hey, maybe this isn't the ultimate date fragrance that we thought it was. Don't get me wrong, it's nice, it's unique, but I just wish it performed better. At number three, CH Men. The number two hyped fragrance on this list is Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. The original Allure Homme Sport is an extremely famous fragrance, one that I cherish in my collection. Eau Extreme takes the original's awesome, fresh DNA and ups the tonka bean sweetness in it. It is a bit minty and it has that nice citrus quality off the top as well. This fragrance gets so much hype because people tend to think that this is the original, but it's extreme. So it performs a lot better. It's more versatile, blah, blah, blah. While that may or may not be true, I don't think it's fair to discredit the original Allure Homme Sport and also Allure Homme Sport Cologne Sport. I think there's room for all three and really each one is more appropriate for a certain temperature or time of day. All Extreme to me is the nighttime equivalent. It's the cooler weather equivalent of the original. And although this is an undeniable compliment getter, so are the others in my opinion. This is a mini PSA for everyone out there. Give the other two a try too. At number two, Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. 
And the number one most hyped fragrance on this list is La Nuit de l'Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. To be completely honest, I have no idea why I left this off the first list. Up until recently, this was Jeremy Fragrance's holy grail fragrance, his baby. And I really can't blame him. It is absolutely the best date fragrance you can get. Well, you can definitely make some other choices if you want to be a little more unique, but really this fragrance just performs every time for me. Now, for those of you who don't know me very well, I bought three 200 ml bottles of this fragrance when I found out about it because that's how much I liked it. And at that point, I didn't have a ton of fragrances, so I just assumed that this would become my signature scent. Fast forward a couple years, I have a lot of fragrances now, so I don't reach for it nearly as much, but that's not because I don't like the fragrance. I still really do. And I do have a modern formulation. I have smelled the vintage. They're both great. It's still incredible. And it's gotten me some of my best compliments ever with fragrances. At number one, La Nuit de L'Homme. Although sometimes hype is justified, you really have to try it on yourself. And if you like it enough to create your own hype, then you know you got a winner. Take all hype with a grain of salt, because otherwise, you're just gonna let us dictate what you buy. All of your links to the Facebook group, Snapchat, and Instagram are down below. And if you like what you see, then go ahead and subscribe and like this video. Now, just because Jeremy said it was awesome, doesn't mean you have to go and buy over half a liter of it. <laughs> Don't be like me. Peace.